We've been coming up here for 40 years. Uh, we've loved it every time we've come, and we've never seen a bear in all that time. All that, it, it was in December. They sent us a picture, called, and said, you have a bear, and it seems to be under your enclosed porch. Um, and the picture verified that. We activated a camera on the property, and my husband found a picture of the bear exiting underneath where we would enter our home. So we were panicked, got in touch with the Pennsylvania Game Commission, um, who have been excellent, and we wanted it removed. No ifs, no compromise. Okay? That was right under where we have to enter, and often there are children involved, and it was just so scary to us. Brian talked us through it. Brian Maurer, give him all the credit for this project. He assured us that if we would learn to coexist, in other words, don't bother the bear, the bear won't bother you, and we believed him because he was believable. He presented us with a lot of data, a lot of information that we were able to assimilate. And when we ne next came up here, we were not afraid to come in. Um, the experience for me was surreal in that so much activity was happening physically below my feet. We could hear the cub cry. As it got older, I think they sensed or smelled us. And we could listen on the camera that you installed and know that they were quiet enough, but the baby was maybe awake. But the second we would step outside, it would be dead silence. You'd hear nothing. So they are probably smarter than me. I couldn't fool them. I wanted to hear them one more time. Never did one in, in live action. I yeah. only heard them on the camera. They knew immediately if we were present. We had multiple different families coming up here, uh, which they do often in the winter for the outdoor activities. Um, we cautioned them all to just keep it quiet. The camera was extremely sensitive to noise. What didn't sound noisy to us on camera sounded like a, you know the bomb went off. Um, so they were aware of that. Uh, they were totally aware that don't bother the bears and they won't bother you. And uh, there were numerous uh, children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, young kids outside, but everybody went quietly in and out. So that was probably the biggest adjustment that we didn't feel we could make noise, believe it or not. We really tried not to. After that, I. I, I watched what was happening on the camera and it was a surreal experience to know I was physically standing above them and this was happening below my feet. It, 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 you can't put the two things together. It, yeah. it, you know, it was an amazing experience. I'm delighted that we were able to cooperate with Brian, that um, literally tons of people enjoyed this way more than we expected. We thought our family and a few friends might tune in because we asked them to or told them about it. Never expected the response that it had. And I'm thrilled that people could have learned a little bit about wild animals who appear so docile on film. Um, the cub was entertaining when he got out and started jumping around like a little lamb and a bunny rabbit at times. Um, but I was most impressed with the mom, how delicately and patiently she dealt with her cub and thinking, I don't measure up. I didn't measure up <laughs> to her standards when mine were little. But it would be nice if I thought it would help others to find that patience with their children. No, it was intense how the humans became loving parents to these little, this little cub. And, and uh, you know, you had that instinct that people wanted to hug them. I did. <laughs> um, I'm thrilled that it went as smoothly as it did, that people did enjoy their time on camera with the bears. We learned a lot, I think. Uh, I'm interested to find out what the bear experts learned or didn't. I, I think there was just, just great interest, and I thank those people who did watch and, and supported the Pennsylvania Game Commission. And your efforts, I think you introduced people to 
uh, certainly you introduced us to the uh, other things on tap that you sponsor. Um, an awful lot of wildlife out there that I have to admit I know nothing about, but I feel like I'm interested now. So that alone <laughs> was worth it. Um, I think our entire family became interested uh, in so many other aspects of nature. Um, it was just a wonderful experience, but I'm thrilled for the people who bonded and, and enjoyed watching. Thank you all, folks. They called themselves UTD, Under the Deck. <laughs> uh, I didn't, we didn't choose to participate in the conversations, mostly because being inter internet unsavvy, we were afraid we'd identify ourselves somehow to someone, and we wanted most of all to protect the bears. Uh, you just don't know what some people might have thought. So. My goal, our goal, was that they stay safe here, and when God called them to the woods, they went.